Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to learn the most essential part of Photoshop. For me, Photoshop is not Photoshop without this feature, the hotkeys. The hotkeys or the shortcut keys is what makes Photoshop Photoshop. So if you are just now starting with Photoshop, I would suggest from the very beginning, try using the hotkeys. Maybe it takes a while, but once you are comfortable, you're going to truly love creating a wonderful image with the wonderful use of hotkeys, the shortcut keys. So let's quickly go and see the various shortcut keys available with Photoshop. We have Control Z, which is a popular and a common command for undoing a state. But what if you thought of undoing maybe two steps behind or three steps behind? For that, we have Control Alt plus Z. That is to undo more than one statement. You can select the entire image by doing a control A or deselect by control D. You could also change the image size by control Alt plus I. That can change your image size. We can open a new file by create a control plus N. We can open an image by control plus O. We can save the image you're working on by pressing control plus S and you can switch in switch on to the full screen by just pressing f maybe once or twice and you get the full screen now all these shortcut keys are keys that you can use by your pressing on the keyboard but for all these options you also can go through the menu bar and use these options by mouse clicks now these are the default hotkeys by photoshop to create your own hotkeys there's also an option for that. If you're not comfortable with Photoshop's way of hotkeys, why not create your own hotkey? So let's get forward and dive in and see how they actually work in Photoshop. So Photoshop is actually Photoshop because it has some essential, some amazing hotkeys. And these hotkeys, it's, it's what makes Photoshop so cool. And if you're used to working in Photoshop and you love Photoshop, Photoshop to you know to be very comfortable in Photoshop you must learn about the hotkeys the shortcut keys the key and that's how it makes Photoshop so much fun let me show you if I have done something let me grab a, a brush tool and I can just start you know painting anything I can also increase the size I'm gonna tell you everything later when time comes I'm just gonna do something here and I don't like it I'm going to do control Z or command Z and gets removed. But what if I did not like this as well? Again, to control Z, it does not bring back. It just undo one state. And if you want to undo more than one state, you do control Alt Z or command option Z and see everything goes. So if you're using actually Control Z for one understate control or command Alt Z or command option Z is for undo more than one space. You want to select something control A or command A and so you can see these marching ants around my image and I want to just do not select this. I'm going to say control D. It deselects the whole thing or command D. I actually want to change the image size. So uh, the shortcut for this is you can go on image and obviously change the size and here uh, is the image size but I'm going to use the shortcuts I'm going to do control alt I or command option I and it gives me the option of changing not just the height and width but also the resolution so I'm going to increase it to 10 and I'm going to see okay it's taking time and it's actually my image is actually changed the size I can also have a new image by just doing a control command N I have a new image I'm not going for it I'm just canceling or if you want an existing you just do command O or control A and you have this so and also you want to save this image I do a control S or command S and for the full screen I do an F and I get the full screen just the image and I can zoom in and zoom out that's I'm doing control minus minus and control plus plus zooming in for instance I'm just working on the fineness of detail I just want to pitch in a little bit of color which obviously I'm not doing it in a neat thing just showing you I'm just or I just wanted a little something here anything so I can zoom in and do it 
So that's how we can use shortcuts in for a shell. We can also create our own shortcuts. We can go to edit and click on keyboard shortcuts. If you actually not really liking, you want your own shortcuts, you can go ahead and create your own shortcuts. So I click here and I want basically a file should open when I do control L and is already in use. So you have to see if it's already in use, you don't they don't allow you, but then you can create your own shortcuts. So shortcut is the way to do in Photoshop.